All right. Uh, hey, everyone. Uh, you might notice that I've been sort of quiet for a little while, and it, it does not mean that I have not been busy. Um, I decided, like, after playing an MMO recently, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, after playing it for a little while, I I don't know, I was just like, why don't I just try to do something like that in Unreal 4? And I work entirely in, in Blueprints, and... Uh, what you're seeing right now is uh, basically one of the arenas, like the sort of the, the layout of one of the arenas from World of Warcraft uh, PvP arena, and I just I don't know I I just started messing with so I have weapon all kinds of stuff. So the class that's in the game right now, uh, let me change my name. So the, the class in the game uh, is sort of inspired by White Mage from Final Fantasy, combined with Frost Mage from Warcraft. Just two classes that I I think are really cool. So um, I have all these things set up. The the hot bar is totally configurable, everything like that. At the moment, I don't have the user interface in place for it, but the but the structure is in place in order for you to be able to like. Put the hot bars down. I have uh, uh, I don't have like a key binding uh, thing actually. That's one of the only things that's missing at this point in time with blueprints is a uh, a key binding thing because we have we have a really excellent uh, thing uh, uh, at least a couple of options for uh, modifying the settings and the video settings and all that stuff. But there's no key binding menu yet. Uh, so I can place AOEs on the ground. So this is a this is a move called Blaze that sets a gigantic AOE on the ground. Also notice that uh, all of the I'm not using a global cooldown. Uh, every single ability has its own cooldown, but also has sort of a <clears throat> a name for its cooldown list. So it's like its tree. So basically, Frost, 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 Invigoration, Invigoration, Invigoration. So anytime you use a move that has a cooldown within the invigoration tree, it makes that uh, tree unavailable for that during the duration of that cooldown. So that creates scenarios where, like, well, teleportation actually has its own tree. Is it has its own thing? So does uh, rejuvenation or refresh? That's that's an ability that you use to regenerate your SP, which is basically magic points. But sort of a universal way to do it. Um, I have currently right now I have the ability to see the target's target. <laughs> uh, so. You're gonna be Woot. Uh, since I don't have a menu widget for changing it, you have to you have to do something that updates that. So okay, so now Woot sees that. While he has me selected, uh, I am I in fact have him selected, and if I deselect him, now I now we'll see that I don't have him. And if you select yourself, you get to see yourself twice, which is always weird about that. But it's a pretty common thing for uh, MMOs is to have like a target of your target. So um, I can go ahead and cast a long cast fireball, which is a very hard hitting really nasty move it's super hard I have ice lance which I can cast while I'm you know I'm moving and jumping around and doing all that but it doesn't do very much damage but you know it's very mobile um, I have my frost bolt you know the the regular frost bolt that's one of my favorite things about a frost mage and World of Warcraft is the frost bolts I don't know I just always like that so the whites the white mage stuff I have um, I have regen I have cure one so I can heal myself. Ooh, that was a crit. I got 38. Uh, healing does crit. By default, you have a 5% uh, critical chance. Uh, damage over time moves, such as uh, burn, will, um, does have a chance to crit as well. So you may see a crit occur like that. Um, AOE effect like Blaze actually not only does it do damage while you're inside of the AOE, but so you can see me casting it. Um, 
but it also applies the burn effect, which is really, really nasty. Um, now this mage class is called an elementalist, and it is uh, proficient at healing. It's a healing class, and it also has the ability to cleanse damage over time effects and stuff like that. Uh, the three different classes that I would want for this game are Defender, Healer, and Support. And every class is a damage dealer. Every class is expected to be de a damage dealer. Not only does this fit better for PvP, but I just feel like it makes more sense than the Holy Trinity anyway. Um, I, don't, I don't view damage as being something that's special. I think everybody should be expected to deal damage, including the tanks and the healers. You should have to know when there's a time to heal and when there's a time to deal damage. That's just my personal take on the whole thing. And uh, as long as I work on this project, that's pretty much going to be the direction of it. I really enjoy that that sort of flow of the PvP and, and how uh, the PvE works for games like World of Warcraft and Final Fantasy XIV. So that's pretty much my, my biggest in, uh, influences when it comes to this. Uh, style of gameplay. That's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to go through and make a series of videos showing how I did all of this and also stuff that I haven't done yet. I plan to have inventory. Um, I learned a lot while I was working on this. I can do almost anything in blueprints now because I know how to do the inventory for where you equip things, it's all mostly just working with arrays. And if you can work with arrays and and, and give everything its unique icons and tooltips, and you and then you can actually specify what the stats are of those objects, you're you're like golden for like most types of games. Like anything with inventories or or ability lists and stuff like that. Yeah. So this has been really, really immensely uh, educational for me. Uh, some of these abilities are not currently functional right now, and I'll I'll probably make this uh, this demo available uh, for download just so you can check it out. Um, I think that's about that. I I can go over some of the blueprint stuff. I'm gonna go over the blueprint stuff in different videos. I uh, I'm going to be preoccupied again because I'm moving to a new location and uh, future videos will be done in, in that place. Uh, so that'll be really fun, but I'm going to be gone for a while and I just wanted to show off uh, what I've what I've done here. So, so like the blueprinting performance wise is a bit, oops, uh, I wanted to go to the uh, oh man, there's there's been quite a bit that's gone into this, um, and there's there's still quite a bit left. Uh, although overall the the majority of the complexity is definitely in the actions and uh, having cooldowns and and things of that nature. Uh, the worst part of this project is that. The actions, the engine, this engine. I I don't know how to put it nicely, uh, other than being extraordinarily amazing for what it is. Is also one of the most likely things to eat your project. Your shit will be deleted and corrupted, and constantly. This is the worst engine on this front. I don't know. I don't know how to explain, like, what what you can do. But you see, all my abilities, uh, pins will randomly like s just disconnect themselves. So like, I'll load up. The, you close the editor and you reload it, and boom, this one a pin is just not connected. And you'll have to find it. And there's there's hundreds, probably thousands of these pins. And you'll just be like, oh, that doesn't look right. Um, all of my abilities would constantly just reset themselves. For some reason the problem has gone away. But during the projects, uh during most of the changes in the project, uh yeah, I was I was experiencing constantly like the editor would crash and then like half of these files would just be 
reset to default and I have to redo them all. Um a lot of a lot of people are saying that it's due to using child objects. The thing is is that for a project like this you absolutely need to have uh child objects. You have to work that way because I'm not going to have a unique object for every single ability in the game. No. No no no, that's not how it works. Well, Okay, so with that said, uh, expect to see some uh, more information on this, and uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> this is this is my favorite of the projects so far. Maybe uh, maybe I'll I'll also set up some PVE stuff as well. Um, my feelings, though, as far as balance, is that uh, balancing around one versus one is the proper way to do this if you actually want to attain balance whereas uh, most MMO developers love to balance around uh, group versus group which is bullshit you can't do it and it, that's why these games have never been balanced before uh, is because you simply can't fucking balance that way and if you don't balance around one versus one then then it's a complete mess so I have a lot of like strong opinions on on, on things along those lines as well so I'm just gonna fucking do it myself, <laughs> and it's been really fucking awesome so far. All right, so uh, with that, I'm gonna close this video, which is probably way longer than it should have been. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy, and stay tuned for more.